So how can we draw an image using the mouse in OpenCV? Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, we are going to see how can we draw an image using mouse click in OpenCV. We are also going to see how can we add some interactive functionality through various event options available in OpenCV. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. Also, we now have the AI University app and the website which is in beta mode right now. You can download the code related Jupyter Notebooks by enrolling to this code right here on the AI University website. You can access the related quizzes and the certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So let's get started. We will be making use of a callback function to connect images to an event function using OpenCV. This way we can interact with images using mouse. So let's now see how can we implement it using OpenCV. So you can see my Jupyter Notebook here. You can see that first we are importing our familiar uh, CV2 and NumPy modules. In the next line, we are creating a function called as circle shape, right? This one. We will be connecting this function with the callback later on. This function takes several parameters, which when connected with callback function, pass these parameters as values to the function. Some of these parameter values are filled in automatically when we pass it to set mouse callback function which is defined here. So there is an event argument that is uh, that determines whether we are uh, doing the right click on mouse or the left click on mouse. X and Y values are nothing but the coordinates of the mouse position. Flag well uh, is used for highlighting some warning and par parameter is used for any additional tasks. So in the next line, we are using an if condition to check the event during set mouse callback. If it is equals to event underscore L button down, that is if you press the left button down, then we are passing the image window to the circle function. And this is this image window function, which is defined here, right? Uh, this image window actually is of 1024 by 1024 okay so this will be the black image uh, having the dimensions 1000 by 1000 pixels and this image will be the one on which we are going to draw the circle on the mouse click button so next argument uh, which are represented by x and y determines the current mouse position which are passed here in the set mouse callback function. This will be treated as the center of the circle. Okay, so these x and y values uh, will be treated as center of the circle. Next parameter is the radius. So this 50 value 50 is nothing but the radius of the circle. These three value inside the bracket represents the color of the circle and minus one represents that we are drawing a solid filled circle and not just an outline one. So in the next set of lines, we are connecting this circle shape into an image callback. This image is nothing but the black image, okay? And uh, which we are creating here, as I told you earlier, right? Here. And this image is where we are going to draw the circle by doing mouse interaction. So we are using named window function here uh, for setting the connection with the window or the image, black image. And inside this, we are passing a window image name as image window, okay? And we have created uh, this image here, right? So now we are connecting image to the callback function called as set mouse callback and then we are giving the name of the image here, okay? So this function takes two arguments. First one is the name of the image as image underscore window on which we want to draw the circle and second argument is the uh, circle underscore shape function 
which is the shape we are going to draw on the black image. So what it is essentially it is doing is when left button click down, then grab the x y coordinates of the current mouse position, then grab that image underscore window and put the center of the circle at that x and y position. In the next line, uh, we are drawing this black image or the black image window by making use of numpy zeros function. It uh, This image has dimensions 1024 by 1024 and three color channels. The data type of uh, uh, this window is uh, unsigned int 8 and this image window is where we are drawing our circle. And in the next line, we are reading our image window inside while loop using im show function. The argument to this function is the name of the image which is image underscore window and second argument is the variable holding this image window. Then we are using if condition to exit out uh, from the window whenever we press escape key represented by hexadecimal constant 0xff. So let me run this cell. So when I run the cell, you can see that a black image window is has appeared, right? And when I'm clicking on this window, you could see that these circles are getting drawn, right? And when I press escape key, the window will disappear, okay? Just like here. Now let's uh, move on to see uh, how can we add some interactivity uh, or interactive functionality through various event options available in OpenCV. So let's move on to this uh, next cell. Uh, here we are utilizing the same code as above but also adding else if statement here or elif statement here which is used for right button down. And you can see that we are adding this another event uh, called as right button down. So in the elif statement, we are adding uh, this uh, event right button down so that it will draw a circle of another color which is red. Okay. So on left click, it should uh, draw the blue circle and on right click, it should draw the red color. So let me run this cell now. So let's say I have clicked on left button now. So it has created blue circle and when I am pressing the right button down it is it has created the red button or, or red circle sorry so whenever I am clicking red but uh, so whenever I am clicking uh, left button down it is drawing this blue circle and whenever I am uh, clicking right button down on the mouse then it is drawing red color circle so folks, uh, this is it for this video. In the next upcoming video, I will cover another important topic of the computer vision using OpenCV series. So here is today's question. What are the arguments that determines the current mouse position in the set mouse callback function? Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.